When considering high stakes exams and particularly GCSE assessments or speaking assessments or writing tasks that students may have to do, it's important to consider that we have to teach content alongside um, study skills and that can be quite challenging and it can be a bit of a, a weighing up of options and what do we devote our classroom time being that it's so precious. One of the things that I've often found with our language learners is that we um, often set a writing homework or a writing task and students go away and they produce you something and they bring it back and you find that it is from Google Translate. So you mean that they've cut out the middleman, they've gone straight to a, a tool that can do the work for them. So what we've been trying to do lately is to break it down. Why are they having to reach for that tool? What can we do instead to help support them? How can we scaffold the task so that they're able to access that material a little bit more? In terms of doing that, what we've also found is that students are then able to better access the study skills in terms of the exam because their knowledge base is stronger. So it's kind of not taking for granted that they know how to access a task. It's not assuming their knowledge about a task and how that they approach it. Um, showing them how to do it, guiding them through, giving them support materials and study equipment, referring them to pages and things that they can use to help them. And then hopefully you can gradually remove that scaffold so that they can produce the work themselves. The plan being that then you end up with a really decent piece of work that they've been able to produce themselves but you've guided them alongside. Um, and for me that's really what the metacognition has been about. It's not assuming their knowledge, it's helping them to see how they best prepare and how they study and then gradually removing that support away so that they can create those skills and produce that work themselves. <laughs>